If there's one thing you need to do while visiting Newfoundland's capital city of St. John's, it's getting screeched in. What exactly is getting screeched in, you ask? Well, this video should help explain it. You see, there are many reasons to want to become a Newfoundlander, but only a small portion of Canada gets the privilege of being born here. Don't fret, however, there is a solution to your problem. All you need to do is drink some screech, kiss a cod, and take an oath. Perhaps the most iconic setting for such a ceremony is Christian's Bar. It's here people like Anthony Bourdain have come to accept such a calling. For us, it was a natural fit to follow the steps of this amazing travel legend. Let's bring the royal order of screechers to what I understand. We've got a bunch that want to get screeched in here today and become right proper honorary Newfoundlanders, yes? That's right. Yes! I have paperwork done up for all of you. Do not lose the paperwork once you receive it. You can get into more places with this than you can most passports these days. <laughs> As we're about to begin, I should first let you know that I'm not the son of a fisherman or a lighthouse keeper. I don't eat fish three times a day and I don't drink screech. At least not before noon on weekdays. I'm not to buy that build a boat, I'm not to buy that sailor, but I got a boat with a fine four cutty and it's got high top sails and I painted it green. And it's the prettiest boat that you've ever seen. I had a premier once and his name was Brian Tobin and he went to war with Spain over something called a turban. I'm not quite sure what a turban looks like, but I'll be damned if somebody from Spain's gonna come take it away from me. I believe in kitchen parties, not raves. I believe in icebergs and blue stars, and that the puffin is a true, proud, and noble bird. Now a scuff is a dance, and a Newfoundland a blue star is also a beer. And it is pronounced Newfoundland, not Newfoundland or Newfinland. Newfoundland is the oldest settlement in North America, the youngest province in Confederation, and the only rock you can party on. My name is Skipper Lukey, and I is a Newfoundlander. We didn't realize it was such a process to become a Newfoundlander. Prior to becoming one, we thought kissing a fish was all that was to it. But oh no, we began with a staple Newfoundland food, the Newfoundland steak. And what is this tasty dish? Well, it's fried bologna. <laughs> trying to teach you something a little bit easier and that's a boy Newfoundland this means I agree you folks can use it in any situation when you're talking to a Newfoundlander and you don't understand what they're saying just agree with them it's easier that way because if you if you ask them to repeat it they will say it the same way they're not going to understand what they're saying now it's hard to say to what you think it's not a boy it's not I boy it's not I buy it's a boy. When everybody say a boy, it's a count of three. One, two, three. A boy. That's pretty good. Now that we got that, we're gonna go along to the graduate level phrase. So, <laughs> when you go back home and they ask you when you went to Newfoundland to get screeched in, they're gonna ask you, "Is yes, screech?" There's only one proper response, and that is, "Deed I is me old cock and long may your big jib drop." <laughs> so, is yes, screecher. Deed I. No, the correct yeah. response was a boy. <laughs> this is a real Newfoundland codfish. Yeah. Given the chance, this fish could have grown to the height of six feet tall and weighed as much as 140 pounds. This fish will not grow any more than this because it's dead. <laughs> Frozen, and it fits perfectly in my freezer. The significance of this particular fish, why I love it so much, is my 14-year-old daughter last summer. She caught this fish out in bottom of this thing. So, and when she saw what was happening to all the other fish that day, getting gutted in, getting filleted and losing their cheeks and tongues to the restaurants, she wanted this fish, her fish, to become the most loved fish ever to come out of the world. I promised her I was going to make that happen. I need you all to pug her up and give this fish a little kiss. Do not worry about anybody taking your picture or video doing this. Whatever happens here in St. John's today will certainly be on Facebook. <laughs> uh, while you are kissing this fish, make sure you hold the pose long enough to see a flash or hear a click, otherwise you will hear those horrible words. Do it again. <laughs> Kissing a cod. I can't say it was on the list of things that I wish to accomplish in my life. As the fish was passed around, I quickly realized that I was about to become a lot closer to this fish, along with about 25 other people who kissed the fish before me. Saying we used to trade our fish with the Jamaicans for their rum, and it was a very, very strong barrel rum. In fact, it was considered a test of a man. If he can drink this without screaming, passing out, or having a heart attack, they were considered true men. 
Mm. Or women. Or transgenders or non binary. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, Screech got his name down on the south coast of our province where one night we were serving our hospitality to a U.S. captain. He drank the shot and he yelled out a great big yell. And the sergeant came on running into the room and he said, Who yelled out the god awful Screech? And there was a Newfoundlander who was sitting at the bar that said, Screech bought, tis the rum, me son. And that's how Screech got his name. So, I never got you to sign any waiver form, so try not to get any on your skin. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't have a drink without having a toast. Of meeting and screeching in the late and great Anthony Bourdain when he came to my bar back in October 2017. After the ceremony was over, I also had the opportunity to sit down next to him and have a few beer and get them all. And just so you know, if you were fans, you know who he was. He was exactly the same person in person as who he was on television. He was jovial, articulate, intelligent, and it's awesome when you can meet your idol and he meets up to all your expectations. I have no idea why he took his life the way that he did, because I thought he had the best job in the world, and I've never seen such a man that had so much going on for him, and he had, he had everything in control, and he was together. But it just goes to show that you never really know what's going on in other people's heads and the demons that they must be facing and fighting every day. I'd like to dedicate my toast to him and say, here's the health in your company and one for the lasses. Let's drink and be merry all that of our glasses. Let's drink and be merry bad thoughts to refrain, for we may or may not ever all be here again. Up to lips, over the gums, look out, go. Let's we supposed to here we go! go. Hmm. Don't hurt yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For more information about this or other amazing Newfoundland destinations, visit our website at joshuatravelguide.ca. Be sure and do us a favor by sharing this video, because together we can share the world.